Hey guys, uh, this is Astro Funk. I'm back here with another tutorial for you. Today I kind of have a quick one for you. I was reading through the Ableton Live Power Book, the Live 9, and I found out this cool thing with drum racks where you can actually kind of nest stuff in there, which I didn't know you could do. So which means you can actually have multiple layers on each pad, which I thought you could only have one. So I kind of want to show you what I did really quick and then Basically, this is just a really simple setup, but you can get really complex with this, I'm sure, and I'm probably going to start using this and kind of and kind of seeing what happens with it. But basically what I have here, I have a kick, I have this this pad, this is stock from the suite, I'm not sure if it's on like the standard or not, but all alone pad. I have this snare here, and then I also have this Midas morph, Morphing, I think it's, yeah, my, or Morph Synth. I think this is on Max for Live, and then these are the ultimate drums from Sonic Academy. So basically what you can do is, this this one is the kick here with the all alone pad. So you kind of have like a drony kick now. So how you do this with a Mac is, I'll just copy this up here. Um, if you don't know how to copy it, I only, I don't, I'm not sure how you do it on a PC, but Max option. Um, so, but with this one though, so I have my kick here and I want to layer it. All you do is hit command with an apple and you drag on and it's going to create a rack. Uh, with a PC, it's going to be control. But with the rack, which is nice if you have any experience with them, is that you can now individually edit each one of them with effects and stuff. And as well as you can also put effects on both of them together. You also have the option with chains and velocity, sensitive and keys, like changing the way that the notes will actually play. Uh, like depending on where it is in the keyboard, which is also can be kind of powerful as well, depending on what you're using this for. So that's how you create those. Um, so you heard the kick. The snare is kind of cool because the sound evolves as it goes. So if you kind of just hit it quickly, but if you hold it, so depending on how you play the snare, it can be So if you hold it, you can get some interesting rhythms. It just really depends what you do. So you kind of get the idea. This is a really simple setup, but it's something that you can really get creative with. Um, also as well, it can probably get pretty CPU intensive depending on how heavily you layer things or how much you have going on creating your own drum racks. So you'll probably have to freeze it or you might have to bounce it down to audio. But this is a great way to get more creative with your sounds. I'm going to start using this um, and try to make my percussion more interesting and have more depth. So I hope you like this and this helps. And if you have any questions or feedback, leave uh, some comments below. And I will see you next time.